Peace to the viewing audience. What a real joy it is to greet you on this, the fourth month of the year in 2024. That's right. We are already in the month of April. And we thank God for the three months that he has allowed you and I to see already this year. And I want to personally invite you to be a part of everything that will take place this month here at the Berean Christian Church. Our theme for the month is physical growth, becoming more fit as it relates to our physical bodies. And all month long, we have all types of life groups, support groups, study sessions, as well as worship services to address the theme for this month. You know, Luke 2.52 says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and favor with God and favor with man. And we believe that if Jesus grew holistically, the same should happen for you and I. So make plans to be a part of all that takes place here at Berean. And remember, this is the year for more in 2024. And you don't want to just go for it, but you want to grow for it. See you soon.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I was glad when they said unto me, let us come into the house of the Lord. So we bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, once again we come before your throne of grace, your throne of mercy, thanking you and praising you, God, for another day that you have given unto us to be able to enter into your house of praise, oh God, into the house of worship, oh God, into the house, oh God, to hear a word from you, oh God. Oh God, we thank you and we praise you, oh God, knowing that you are a mighty God, omnipotent God, all-knowing God. Father, we ask you through the blood of the Lord Jesus, oh God, that you meet every need that we have, oh God, knowing that we need you, oh God, in our lives, oh God, not one day, but every single day, oh God. We thank you, dear Lord God, for your healing power, your virtuous power, oh God, that you have given unto us, oh God, with authority, oh God. We thank you, dear Lord God, that we are your people, oh God, and we are called by your name, oh God, and we thank you, dear Lord God, for just being in the midst, oh God, and we give you glory, oh God. We give you honor. We give you all the praises, oh God. We ask you, dear Lord God, to bless our pastor, oh God, as he come with the word of God. And we ask you, dear Lord God, to open our hearts to receive your word, to live according to your word, be obedient to your word, and acknowledge you, oh God, in all our ways, knowing that you would direct our path. Lord, we thank you and we praise you, oh God, for everything you've done, and everything you're getting ready to do in our lives and through our lives in this ministry, oh God. We thank you, dear Lord God. We thank you, dear Lord God, for your people that are standing in your presence at this hour. Father, we ask you to bless the choir, the praise team. Bless each and every individual under the sound of my voice. And most of all, Lord God, we thank you, dear Lord God, for the bitch of this house. We thank you, O oh God, for all this family, our First Lady, and everyone. We give you glory for it. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. Anybody excited about being in the house of the Lord this afternoon? Come on, clap your hands, everybody. We praise the great God. He's good and he's good all the time. If you know me, come on. Lift your voice in. Lord, you are. Hey. Come on, say it again. Say, Lord, you are. Say it again. Come on, say, Lord, you are. Come on. Say, people from every nation. People from every nation and tongue. From generation. Come on, everybody, clap your hands. Say, we worship. Say, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voices. Say, hey. for who you are. Come on, say it again. Cry out. Say, we worship you. Woo. Say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, God, we worship you. For who you are. Everybody say you up. Woo! Come on. Clap your hands, everybody with me. All you people, clap your hands. Anybody knows he's good and he's good all the time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on. We're going to go back to the top. Everybody say, Lord, you are good. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy forever. God, we recognize and acknowledge that you're good. Oh, oh. If you know it, come on, say people from every nation. People from every nation and time. From generation to generation. We worship you. We worship Woo! you. Come on, lift your voice. Say hallelujah. 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 We worship you. We worship you. For who you are. Who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, say it again. Everybody, we worship you. We worship yeah. You. We worship you, Lord, oh, for who you are. Let's go.
go, come on. Say you are. Come on, lift your voice. Say yes you are, yes you are, yes you are. Hallelujah. Hey, so good, so good, so good. Let me hear you say. Yes you are, yes you are, yes you are. If you know me, come on. Say you are, you are. Take your seat, take your seat. How about it for our praise team and band members on the day? Thank God for their excitement. Thank God for their energy. Thank God for their commitment. Thank God for all of you lifting up your voices and being a part, being a part of our worship experience doing Bible study. Thank Miss Ida for getting us started with prayer. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Ida. Appreciate you so much, so much, so much. Anybody got a chance to see the eclipse yesterday? The eclipse yesterday? The eclipse yesterday? All right. Yeah. I fooled around at 815 and told you we were going to be meeting down here to see it and forgot to tell you I was just playing. Amen. Amen. They had to hide me yesterday. Amen. They say, Pastor, folks out there looking for you. They looking for you, looking for you, looking for you. First lady told me on Sunday, she said, now, you know people going to show up. I'm like, no, no. Amen. I just got down here. Amen. I've been locked in my office. <laughs> but one of our workers, one of our workers uh, who works part-time, on our maintenance team, uh, works for a school full-time, happened to have some glasses, happened to have some glasses because the school did it. And uh, she gave me the glasses, and we just took turns looking at that. Well, 
all the staff, we were like little kids, amen. I see it, I see it. If I was looking the wrong way, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. But uh, we certainly praise God, praise God. Uh, people getting excited about looking up, amen. Excited about looking up. And if we can keep people looking up and change their focus to I'll lift my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. All my help comes from the Lord. Let's bless God for our first lady today. Amen. Good to see our first lady. And good to see all of you, all of you who are joining us by way of modern technology, by way of streaming efforts. We appreciate you so much. I believe this is day 16 for the Women's Challenge. I believe it's day 16 for the Women's Challenge. And uh, today is to to walk five to 10,000 steps, five to 10,000 steps. You know what's amazing? This is the second time that that's been a part of the challenge. And the first time it was a part of the challenge, it rained, amen. And guess what? It's raining again today, amen. No more of that, no more of that, no more. <laughs> no more of that, amen. Our theme for this month is Physical growth, physical growth, physical growth, physical growth. Just do a little review, ushers. You can readjust, do a little review because we're in the fourth month. We're in the fourth month. And the more we go along, the easier it is for people to forget where we've come from and what we are about. Our theme for the year is maturing like the master. Maturing like the master. That's our theme for the whole year. Maturing like the master. What's our theme for the whole year? Maturing like the master. And our theme passage is Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. And it says, and Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with all the people. And Jesus increased, and Jesus matured, and Jesus grew, Jesus developed. King James says Jesus increased, NLT said Jesus grew. And we pull from Luke 2.52, we pull from Luke 2.52 four different ways that Jesus developed, four different ways. And we, he grew in wisdom, he grew in stature, he grew in favor with God, and he grew in favor with man. He grew in wisdom. He grew in stature, he grew in favor with God, and he grew in favor with all the people, which means he got along with God and he got along with people. And then we Bereanized it. We Bereanized it. We took those four. He grew in wisdom, he grew in stature, he grew in favor with God, and he grew with all the people. And we Bereanized it, and we call the favor with God what? Spiritual connectivity. Spiritual connectivity. We call the wisdom, we call the wisdom what? Mental stability. Mental stability. And then we call the, the, the favor, the favor with man, favor with people. We call that what? Relational. 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 Relational unity. And then favor, uh, what part am I missing? The, 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 the stature. We call that what? Physical vitality. Physical vitality. And we entered into this year, we entered into this year, and we said every month we will focus on one of those. Every month we will focus on one of those. Well, we're at the month of April now, and we've already focused on the spiritual, we've already focused on the mental, we've already focused on the relational, and now we are at the physical. Now we're, let's see if you remember this, let's see if we remember this. Uh, let's see if, if I even remember this. If I even remember, I was the one who gave it to you. Put those four up again. Put those four up again. And I guess going forward, we need to put words next to this. We said the spiritual connectivity is growing what? Growing what? Growing what? That's, that's the, some, some one had to do growing deeper. One had to do with growing closer. One had to do, uh, uh, uh. I forget what the four was. I need to go back and look at, look at, look at some old, some old, some old, some old broadcast, some old broadcast. But I think the spiritual connectivity was growing close. Was, that was deeper. That was deeper, Pastor Trace. And then the relational, the relational unity was growing what? That was closer. And what was the, the physical vitality was uh, us growing? It was growing better. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming on this side over here. 
This side uh, just joined about two weeks ago. <laughs> All right. So, so, so the spiritual connectivity was growing what? That was deeper, growing deeper in our relationship with God. The relational unity was growing closer. It makes sense. And then our physical vitality was growing. Was that stronger? Or was our mind stronger? The mind was stronger and the, and the physical vitality was better. Yeah, that, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. So we wanted, we wanted our relationship with God to be deeper. We wanted our relationship with other people to be closer. We wanted our body to become better. And we wanted our minds to become stronger. Merit going forward, let's just add those words on the side so that this side over here will never forget it again. <laughs> We got it over here. Pastor Trace got us started. Pastor Trace got us started. Pastor Trace got us started. Okay. All right. So, so, so we're on physical growth. We're on physical growth. We're on physical growth. And because last Sunday was First Fruit Sunday, First Fruit Sunday, we didn't get a chance to talk about the theme. So this is our first time, first time addressing, addressing the theme for April. And today I want to talk about shaping up for the master. Shaping up for the master. You see how that fits? Physical shaping up for the physical vitality, shaping up for the master. Here's the passage of scripture I want to use for today. First Corinthians chapter six, verse 19 and 20. It says, don't you realize that your body, highlight that word, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God. And look what it says. You do not belong to yourself. For God did what? God bought you with a high price, with a high price. Tell somebody on your row, I'm tall cotton. I'm tall cotton. Amen. God bought you with a high price. Amen. So you must do what? Honor God with your body. And 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 and 20 talks about us glorifying God by way of our what? By way of our body. By way of our body, by way of our body. And today, 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 I want to look at three, three segments. I want to look at three segments today as we deal with improving our health, improving our health, improving our health. Roman number number one, elements to improve your health. Elements to improve your health. Roman, Roman, Roman number number two, assessment, assessment on improving your health. Assessment. When you assess something, what does that mean? You do what? You look at it, you examine it, you evaluate it. Assessment, assessment on improving your health. And then number three, commitment, 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 commitment. And I think I'll make it commitments for improving your health, commitments for improving your health. All right, let me give you elements. 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 Listed below are significant or vital factors for one to better their physical temple. Listed below are significant factors for one to better their physical temple. And I want to give you five elements that can help you and I, you and I, you and I better our bodies, better our physical temple. And these are how they appear in Scripture and not in priority, not in priority, but how they appear in Scripture. Here's number one, proper nutrition, proper nutrition can help you improve your physical temple. What do you think this speaks about? What do you think this speaks about? The food we eat. The food we eat. The food we eat. The food we eat. Proper nutrition can help you improve your physical temple. Look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. Then God said, look, I've given you what? Every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth. God talks about food that's what? That's plant-based. That's plant-based. Notice he doesn't say, I've given you every fat. I've given you every high sugar. <laughs> he says, I've given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth. And all the fruit trees, what? For your food. For your food. For your food. Proper nutrition. Proper nutrition. All right, we've got the hardest one out the way. Let's move to the next four. Let's move to the next four. Let's move to the next four. All right, number one is proper what? All right, here's number two. Proper hydration. 
proper hydration can help you improve your physical temper. What do you think this speaks about? What do you think this speaks about? It speaks about, yeah, liquids, but water for the most part. Water for the most part. Now look what this text says. 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse, verse 15. It says, David remarked longingly to his men, oh, how I would love for some of that good wine from the well. <laughs> No, that's not what he said. Uh, what, did they, what did David long for? What did David long for? He longed for water from the well by the gate in Bethlehem. He didn't long for beer. Come on. He didn't long for, for a Diet Coke or Gatorade or Powerade or, or what's, the, what, what, what's the drinks that you, for energy? What's the drinks that uh, Red Bull. He, didn't <laughs> he longed for what? He longed for what? For water. For water, for water, proper hydration, proper hydration. Number one is proper what? Number two is what? Do you think our bodies, our physical temples can improve if we just did better by way of the food we took in and doing more water as opposed to... Mm -hmm. Tell somebody on your row, I'm going to start doing better. 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 Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Proper nutrition, proper nutrition, proper nutrition, proper hydration, proper, hi proper hydration. And it's amazing when you go in the stores, like the little corner stores, how all the other drinks are before water. That's on purpose. That's on purpose. All right, number one is proper what? Number two is proper what? Watch three, y'all. Proper relaxation. Is this a good lesson so far? Proper relaxation can help improve your physical. And as I, as I, as I peruse the audience, some of you have no trouble with this one at all. Because <laughs> you relax right now. You relax. <laughs> Feet all up on the chair. <laughs> Head tilted back. Proper. Mark 6.31. Mark 6.31. Then Jesus said to his disciples, look what he says. Let's go off by ourselves to a what? For what purpose? Where did they want to go? And for what purpose? He said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. You know what this means? They were so busy in ministry. They were so busy meeting the needs of people that who were they neglecting? Who were they neglecting? Do you think that still happens? That still happens? And it doesn't just happen for people who work in ministry, right? It's all across the board. Do you think that there's sometimes parents spend so much time taking care of their children that they neglect taking care of themselves? If you're ever on a plane, if you're ever on a plane, before they take off and they're given the directions, they make this, 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 this little plea that says if we should run out of uh, oxygen, if we should run out of if we pressure, uh, they said a mass will come down. And they say, those of you who are traveling with children, do what? Put yours on first. Now, why do they say put yours on first? Yeah, because your child can't be ministered to if you're not alive. They say that on Delta. They say that on United. I don't know if they say it on Spirit or not. I don't know. <laughs> Pastor Tommy said they don't. They <laughs> Spirit, they just say every man and woman for themselves. <laughs> And God for us all, shall we pray? <laughs> Lisa, you a flight attendant? They say they say it on your airline. They say it on your okay, 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 all right. All right, Nietzsche, you flight attendant? <laughs> I never shall forget. I was I was leaving Los Angeles. I was preaching in L.A. and I took the late night flight to come home. And uh, I saw one of our members, and she said, "Oh, pass. I didn't I didn't expect to see you here in Los Angeles." And we were both at the gate. And uh, I really didn't know her. And uh, she was just going on and on like we were the best of friends. So 
I just decided to just sit there, and I thought we were just bored together. We were bored together. And uh, I could have been boarded. I could have been boarded. And they took the first section, the second section, the third section, the fourth section. I'm just sitting there because I'm going to board when she board. I want to be a good pastor just kind of talking to her. And finally, they, they about to close the door. And I said to her, I said, hey, I said, are you going to get? She said, oh, she said, I ain't on Delta. She said, I'm on Spirit. <laughs> About to miss my flavor. Tell somebody on your road, quit fooling with them Berean members. <laughs> I'm like, shoot, I could have, I could, I could have been on the plane. Could have had my drink, could have had my milk. <laughs> my pillow and all that. I missed all the luggage space and all fooling with that. Number three, proper relaxation. You got to take care of yourself. Number one is proper what? Number two is proper what? Number three is proper what? Number three is proper education. Number four is proper education can help you improve your physical temple. Proper education. First Thessalonians chapter four, verse three and four, look what it says. It is God's will that you should be sanctified. Ooh, I like that. It's God's will. It's God that sanctified means to live right, to live holy. And it's God's will that you should avoid sexual immorality. Now watch verse four. Y'all didn't say nothing on that last part. Y'all just... <laughs> I'm trying not to call names on this last one. I'm trying not to say nothing on this one, Deborah. I'm trying not to say nothing. <laughs> It's God's will that you should be sanctified and that you should avoid sexual morality. Look at verse 4. And that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy. Do you see education there? How do you see education there? How do you see that? That each of you should learn what? Control what though? What does it say? Control what? your own body. Come on, what's the key word for you there? Because sometimes we know the secret for everybody else's body. We know the plan for everybody else's body. We know what everybody else needs. We just don't know what. Proper education. All right, give me one. Proper what? Give me two. Proper what? Nutrition deals with what? No, 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 you on relaxation. I'm still on number one. No, no. Nutrition deals with what you eat. Hydration deals with what? Relaxation deals with what? Your rest. I like that, Kevin. Your rest. Your rest. What would you say education deals with? Learning, okay? Or your knowledge. Or your knowledge. Or reading. Mm -hmm. Or wisdom. I like that. Your mind. Mm -hmm. You ever heard this? Uh, what you don't know. Won't hurt you. How about this one? What you don't know can kill you. <laughs> you talking about it won't hurt you? No, it's going to kill you. My people perish. That's the Bible. For a lack of knowledge. Proper education. All right, let's do the last one, y'all. You getting something out of this? This is good, y'all? This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Okay, here's the last one. New word alert, 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 new word alert. Here we go. <laughs> Proper exertion. 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 What does it mean when somebody says, you're just exerting yourself? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're working hard, you're doing it. And this passage deals with exercise. Well, Pastor, why couldn't you just say proper exercise? Will you tell somebody that's brand new why I couldn't say proper exercise? It don't have T-I-O-N. Huh? What'd you say, First Lady? You was pointing out something there? Y'all don't know? Okay, it's between you and Dana. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Right. <laughs> we'll talk about it. I'm sure it'll come up at home. Amen. I just know it better come up at halftime. Amen. 
right. First Timothy 4.8. I love this verse. Look what it says. Physical training is good. Physical training is good. What is he talking about there? Exercise. Physical training is good. Watch this. But training for godliness is much better. Because it does what? It promises benefits in this life. But is he, is he talking against physical exercise? Is he talking against working out? No. He says it's good. But if you try to compare it to godliness, they don't even, I like that, Denise, they don't even compare. But it's good. It's good. I think the King James says it has, it pro, no, King James says it's profited. It profited. Some translations say it has value. Of the five, which one stands out for you? Of the five, of the five. Which one? Which one was a gut check for you? Of the five, of the five. All of them. Nutrition, Mother Davis, nutrition. Why, why, why? Oh, if you eat right, some of these other things kind of fall in line. I like that. Spoken by the most senior statesman in here. Mother Dave is 93, soon to be 94, right? 94, soon to be 95. That's right. That's right. When you get that age, you ain't, lose, you ain't losing no years. You're like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, some of them say, you don't know, you better ask somebody. You don't. <laughs> I said, yeah. Anybody else? Which one spoke to you? Which one spoke to you? Trace, which one spoke to you? Number four? What was education? Why? It touches all the others. Education can help us with all the other areas. I like that. I like that. Minister White, which one for you? Relaxation. Ooh, why? You tired and run down. Wow, it can impact the other areas. I like that. And they say retired people don't know what day it is. <laughs> and what time it is, they don't, they don't care. Don't matter. Don't matter. I wonder why when I ask Mother Lee what time is it, she say, that's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> Denise, for you, for you, go ahead. Number five, exertion, okay. Yes. Yes. Wow. So this challenge that the women been doing has really helped you. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing. What about over here? Y'all know where we are? Y'all know we on? We, we, theme for the month, all like that? Y'all, anybody want to say something over there about, you know, God is good all the time and Worthy to be proud. <laughs> I saw a hand back there. Go ahead. Ryan, is that you? Go ahead. Relaxation. Why? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we burn ourselves out trying to do everything. And I tell you, every day I leave work, stuff from my desk, say, I'll be here tomorrow. Don't worry. I'll be here. You ain't got to get it all to today. You got to get it all today. Ms. Doris, I think I saw her hand down. I saw her hand back there. And then go ahead, go ahead. Nutrition. Nutrition. Write things in your body. It makes a difference. Wow. Wow. Yeah. With every disease. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. So the nutrition spoke to you about, and you said something about disease. Whenever you see this in front of a word, this means without. So discouragement means without encouragement. Disease means without ease, without comfort. Mm -hmm. Dismay means without may. <laughs> That's why you can only talk about that in April. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on now. <laughs> why 
I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop sharing my knowledge with y'all. Y'all don't appreciate my. <laughs> All right, I, I think I saw what I saw. I think I saw him. I saw him in the too. Yeah, uh, in the back. Go ahead. All four for you, except for the fifth one, because you know it's five of them. Uh -huh. huh? You lost 140 pounds. Wow. Wow. What a blessing. Praise God. Thank you for sharing. Sharing, sharing, sharing. Over how much time? Over how much time? Wow. Over a year and a half. That is great. That is great. We did a fast some years ago. Miss Sarah, you remember Mr. Don? Mr. Don? Uh, what was Mr. Don's last name? Brother Don Stewart. Brother Don Stewart came out the fast. He said, Pastor, we did like 40 days. He said, I lost 120 pounds. I said, what? He said, my grandson went back home. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I got you, Mr. Don. I got you. Gwen, go ahead. I think I saw your hand. Hydration for you. Don't drink enough for them. Then you can without water. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, yes. Hydration was yours too. Water can do a lot of different things. And water can be used not just for drinking, right? We use water for what? For cooking? So many things. Cleaning? I like that. And it cut down a lot on, okay, the, the kidney issue. Thank you. It flushes. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. I'll take this. And then I'll take Miss Sarah and then I'm going to go to section two. Go ahead. Yes. Education. Yeah. When we know better, we do better. I like that. I like that. I like that. Thank you. Miss Sarah, go ahead. Close out this section and then I'm going to section two. Yes. 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 Wow, from just water for Lent. Right, right, wow. What a blessing. Thank you for sharing. Mr. Bob said he thought it was him. Amen. <laughs> I thought you said it was me, Sarah. Sarah, I thought you said it. <laughs> All right, let me do that. Let me go to two. Let me do two. Let me go to two right there. Let me do section two right there. Let me go to section two right there. <laughs> let me go to section two. Miss Sarah just got back from Iceland and survived with a trip with her grandson. What a blessing. I told her Bob came to every service we had. He was so lonely. I'm like, Bob, go home. Where you go? Man, I just can't go that out by myself, man. I just can't go. <laughs> All right, sit here. I'm gone. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's do two. Let's do section two. Let's do section two. Assessment on improving your health. Please answer the questions below as honestly as possible. As honestly as possible. All right, this is for you. Please rank the elements from the first section. It was five elements, with one being the highest and five being the lowest, based off of how they currently operate in your life. Now you can't cheat on nobody paper here. You gotta what 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 what's of those five, what's number one in your life right now? And what's number five, the one you need to work on the most? And then fill in the rest, fill in the rest, fill in the rest, fill in the rest. Y'all got me? Y'all got me? BC, are you with me? Oh yeah, we learned in the Bible ain't going nowhere. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. You got it? You got it? You should have five when it's all said and done. And you can only use one answer one time. And your answer should either be nutrition, hydration, relaxation, education. What am I missing? Exertion. Don't come up with something like participation. 
elevation. All right, I'm going to number two now. Please rank the elements from the first section. With one being the highest and five being the lowest. Based off of how you would like them to operate in your life. How you would like for them to operate. Remember the first one was, how are they operating right now? And, and your answers from one and two could be the same if, if, if your situation would you, you would like to. Anybody here have different answers from one and two? Different answers from one and two. Okay. Anybody have the same answers? One and two. One and two. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Those of you who are watching at home, you follow along with us. Follow along with us. Follow along with us. All right. You ready for number three? Please list improvements you've made this year regarding your physical health. This year. That's, that's, that's the key. This year. This year. Uh, just overall. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you asked that. It's a great question. Just overall, what have you been improved with? Like Miss Sarah talked about, her numbers are down. Denise talked about how the, 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 the women's challenge is helping her to keep her mind clear. This year. This year. If you want to do an acronym, do W-I-P, work in progress. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or you can do, I don't know, it's kind of a long one, but it'll be please be patient with me, for God is not through with me yet. All right, you good? All right, let's do commitment for improve commitments for improving your health. You see number one, you see number one under Roman numeral number three? Will you write the word nutrition right there? Where that blank is, write nutrition there. For number one, write nutrition. And then see where number two is? Write hydration. Number three, tell me what you would write. Relaxation. Number four, you would write what? Education. And number five, you would write exertion. I had to leave those blanks because some of you are overachievers and you go through the lesson before I started. You have a head start. Commitments for improving your health. Please list practical steps you can make in the areas below to improve your health. To improve your health. Please list practical steps you can make in the areas below to improve your health. Uh, Marquise, can you get me two microphones, please? Give me two microphones. Give me two microphones. I would give people an opportunity to share if they so desire. I'm not going to put you in groups. If you just, just share, you desire to share what you have, I'm going to give you a chance. Pastor Tommy, just hold the microphone for me on this side over here. Marquise, you hold it for me. Or you can take them to where they are. Take them to where they are. And we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Has this been helpful for you? Good stuff, huh? Just basic stuff. Basic stuff. And sometimes it's not the deep stuff that causes us to not do well. It's not paying attention to the basic things, the basic things. All right, for section number two, for section number two, please rank the elements from the first section with one being the highest and five being the lowest based off of how they currently operate in your life. Anybody want to share what you had, yours? Okay, here we go right here, here we go. Okay, right. I just, I don't, I don't, I just, I just, I just want to hear the, what, what, what they are so I can get as many people as possible. You don't have to give me the commentary. Just, 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 what was your one, two, three, four, five? Four, one, three, five, two. 
Yeah, well, one would be what? What would be the oh, answer? One, one was education. Education, okay. Two would be what? Um, uh, Tell me, give me your nutrition. one. Give me your one. Education. Your one was education. Two was nutrition. Okay. Two was nutrition. Uh huh. Three was. Uh, Three was relaxation. Okay, that's how. It, four was what? Uh, four was number five. Exertion. Four was exertion, and five was. Hydration. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right. Go ahead while you're right there with Miss Doris. Good, good. You got somebody over there, Marquise, want to share too? Go ahead. Go ahead, Miss Doris. Okay. Number one was nutrition. Nutrition. Okay. Number two was hydration. Two was hydration. Three, education. Three, education. Four was exertion. Four was and Five was relaxation. Relax. Anybody that was yours right there. That, was that, 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 that order was yours right there. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to share? Anybody else want to share yours? How they currently operate in your life right now. How they currently operate in your life right now. All right, here's one right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then I'm going to move to two. Then I'm going to move to two. Go ahead. You can go. And then, Marquise, I'll come to you. Go ahead. Yeah. Education, relaxation. Education, relaxation. Nutrition. Nutrition. Hydration. Hydration. Exertion. And exertion. Okay. How many of you exertion was number five for you? <laughs> Anybody exertion was number one for you? Oh, good. That, thing, that means working out is a high priority for you. High priority for you. Okay. How many of you, even when you go out of town, you take something to work out? Okay. I always say this won't fit in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we, okay, go ahead, Marquise. Over here, go ahead. Um, I put number one, education. Number uh -huh. two, exertion. Yes. Number three, hydration. Number four, nutrition. And number five was relaxation. Good, good. All right, let me go to two. How would you like to see them in your life? Who wants to share? How would you like to see them? You got one back there, Pastor Tom. You got one right here, Marquise, right here. Come here, right here. Throw your hand up again. Mother, go, okay. All right, how would you like to see them in your life? Go ahead. Education, okay. nutrition, mm -hmm. hydration, relaxation, and exertion. And exertion. Okay. All right. Now, keep in mind, just because something is a five on your list, that don't mean it's not a priority. Just means out of these, it's not as high as others. That don't mean that it's low on my list. All right. What you got? Go ahead. Nutrition. Yes. Hydration. Yes. Education. Relaxation. And exertion. Good, good. How many had nutrition as number one? You would like to see that better on you? Nutrition, nutrition. Do you think there are things that the church can do to help us with nutrition? Say it again, Ms. Tracy. The church is helping us, yeah, but you can think of other things that the church can do to help. Prayer, prepare healthy meals when we do things. I like that, uh-huh. I'm not saying we're going to do this. I'm just trying to get some what y'all say. You know, I'm not over this area. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have educational classes. Have support groups. Do you, think, do you think people can value from a healthy eating support group? We, we can't just make everything the Bible, y'all. The Bible. Okay. All right. Did, did you guys write about that past time? Go ahead. Who you got? It is biblical, though. Yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. Exertion, nutrition, relaxation, education, hydration. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me switch gears to number three. What improvements have you made this year regarding your physical health? What improvement? What improvement? Go ahead. Got Joyce over there. What improvements? Hydration and education. Hydration and education. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, all right. All right. You got one in the back, Pastor Tommy. Didn't want to pay Marquise. You got, okay, you're going to take care of that one, Marquise? Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What I, do, what I do when I leave the house, I bring everything before dinner, until dinner time. So I eat only what I have with me wow. every time, whether it be a snack or whatever it is. Wow. So preparation is key for you. Right, right. That's good. That's good. Okay. Anybody when it comes to, you got one over there, Marquise, too. Anybody in exertion, you find yourself parking further away from where you're going so that you can walk more? Anybody never do that? <laughs> you just drive around, drive, <laughs> drive. <laughs> and you could have been in the store and out by now, but you still waiting on that. 
I told you about the guy that went to dairy. Went to went to went to uh, 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 a Krispy Kreme, and he said, "If the light is on, God want me to go in there and get a donut." He said, and we drove around that twelfth time, <laughs> which means he was gonna keep driving. <laughs> We can talk ourselves into doing whatever we want to do. Yeah, Miss, go ahead, Miss Doris. Yes. Yes. Wow. Drop her off at us. Okay, got it. Wow. Wow. That's good. And watch this. He, he was only doing it just in terms of he thought that that, that was being more sensitive to, but for you, you wanted to. And what does that teach us? Everybody different. Because how many of you wish you had a man that just thought about stuff like that? <laughs> no, you're going to get out when I park. That's what you're going to get out of. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. You got somebody back there, Marquise? You're good. Go ahead, uh huh? Uh, trying to do better, eating everything that's white. Doctor don't want me eating that white and cutting out the salt. Not eating stuff that's white? Oh, like white rice and yeah. bread and got it, got and, it. And no okay. salt. That's good, Ryan. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. All right, let me go to section three. Let me go to section three. Let me go. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank you for sharing. All right, please list practical steps you can make in the areas to improve your health. Nutrition, nutrition. What, is, what did you have for nutrition? Less fried food. I like that, less fried food. Okay, anybody else? Nutrition. Come on, I'll just take you. I'll just take what you have. Go ahead. Uh, so they won't be running. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, uh huh? Uh huh, it's all right. Good. Nutrition. More fruits, nuts, and veggies. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Plan my menus, read my labels before I purchase Plan food. menus and read labels. Ah, let me get somebody to go ahead, uh-huh. Stay off the snack aisle and don't bring them home. This is good stuff, y'all. Because that snack aisle will draw you on it. <laughs> Come on, go ahead, Mom. go ahead. I got some men. Go ahead, yeah. Huh? Increase plant-based foods Increase in my diet. Increase plant-based food. Tanya, go ahead. Stop eating after six p.m. Daryl, go ahead. Portions in moderation. I like that. That you, Dina? What you got? Smaller portions. Wow. Uh huh, Doctor Riggs. Meal prep. Uh huh. Eat out of a saucer. Wow. I'm going to let you start teaching the health classes. <laughs> Come on, Roy. Uh, just being more consistent. Being more consistent. Right, because I can eat great for a period of time. Yes. But then I'll go back to other weeks. Ray, me and you, um, Roy, you and I need to be on accountability partners, Doc. Because that's me too, Doc. See, I can do well, and then I got to celebrate. <laughs> but I haven't learned how to celebrate one meal. See, and don't let me celebrate, and then that one meal ain't good. Then it be like the jokes I tell you. No, we can't close out like this. <laughs> All right, hydration. I'm on hydration now. Hydration. Let me hear your tips for hydration. What do you want to do for hydration? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Drink more water. Anybody else had anything else about hydration? Drink water only. I like that, Kev. I like. Wasn't that part of the challenge, First Lady? Well, drink water? Couple of days. Water Wednesday. Carolyn? Use education to learn about the water you drink it. All waters are not there. Wow. Chemicals. That's good. Go ahead, Sarge. Drink less coffee, coffee dehydration. Drink less coffee. With my coffee people in here, with my coffee people in here. Come on to the altar. Come on, come on. <laughs> Pray for me. Oh, my brother. 
Well, my folks got to have coffee every day, every day. Okay, all right, all right, all right. How many folks' coffee don't appeal to you at all? Well, my folks don't do coffee, but you do tea. Well, my people just do liquor. Amen. <laughs> I'm feeling something right through here. Right through here by Minister Ida. <laughs> Anybody else have anything else under hydration, hydration, hydration? Yes, hydration. Hydration. To drink when you think you're hungry. That is good. Did somebody tell us how to handle about the hydration? Yes, go ahead. You drink water before you eat, that way you will eat less. Drink water before you eat and you drink less. Wow. All right, uh-huh, in the back. Go ahead, Ryan. Less drinks with sugar. That's good. All right, I'm at a relaxation. Let me hear relaxation. What did you have for relaxation? Relaxation. Daniel, you got something? Relaxation? Sleep during the night. You wake up and it's hard to sleep during the night? Okay, okay. All right. Sometimes you can have too much relaxation. Okay, okay, all right. Yes, relaxation. Rest without the TV. That's good, I like that. Relaxation. Reading, do more reading can relax you. Uh-huh. Meditation. I know a pastor's wife. I know a pastor's wife in order to sleep at night. She put on one of her husband's sermon. <laughs> <laughs> and she say, I just, I just, I just, I just stand first lady. <laughs> Boy, y'all are funny to me. Tracy, how I get caught up with this group? <laughs> Why did y'all call me to this church? Come on. <laughs> yes. Breathing exercises. Ah, good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Set a schedule for. Set a schedule for relaxation. Set a schedule for relax. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. What's number four? Education. What you got for education? What you got for education? Reading more. Reading more. Listening more. Okay. Uh huh. Looking for healthier recipes. I think on the women's challenge, one day was to share a healthy recipe with another woman. Yes, go ahead, education. Gain a proper knowledge of all the elements. That's good. How many of you read labels? How many of you read labels? Okay, 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 good. Pastor Trace, I saw your hand. Go ahead. Schedule regular physicals. That's good. Schedule regular. All right, now we're on exertion. Commitment. Make a commitment to it. Anybody else? E exhortation. Don't do more than you can handle. Exertion. I like that. Uh-huh. Being intentional about it. Just do it. Go ahead now. Because we can talk about it, can't we? But just do it. I, like anybody else? Ex exertion, exertion, exertion. Yes. Take less short romantic walks to the refrigerator. And take longer walks to the refrigerator. Longer walk. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah, that's deep. I don't know what you're talking about, but that is deep. <laughs> Kathy, go ahead. Start small. Ooh, that's good. Celebrate progress, but not too much. Stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. There was a guy, Kevin, his... Uh, his neighbor asked him, can I borrow your lawnmower? And he said to him, he said, you can borrow my lawnmower if my wife is not cooking greens tomorrow. And the guy said, what does cooking greens have to do with borrowing your lawnmower? He said, nothing, but any excuse is better than none. 
which teaches us we can come up with an excuse for anything we don't want to do. Anybody else? Anybody else? We got two minutes left. Go ahead, Donna. Accountability partners. Wow. And not just people asking you the questions, but people who will work out with you, who will walk with you. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Research shows that exercise is more important than you eat the longevity of it. Okay, okay, all right, thank you, thank you. Be true to yourself. That's it, Joyce? Be true to yourself? Yes. When they leave, what you got to do for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, how about this? Can we throw this in? Do it for the right reason. <laughs> Is that good? Because can we find ourselves working out and doing it for? Because what are some wrong reasons? What are some wrong reasons? Doing it for somebody else. Think somebody going to like you. Think somebody going to love you. Think somebody going to want you. For special events. Name some of them special events. Oh, that wedding coming up. I got to fit into this. Uh, getting ready to go to the beach. Yes. That's good. Miss Ida, go ahead. How many hours we should sleep? S seven to eight hours. Anybody in here achieves that? Seven to eight hours? Okay. No napping during the day. How many of you nap during the day? Okay. 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 Retired. Okay. <laughs> Well, listen, I want to leave you with this. Wherever you're trying to make improvements, hold on to Philippians 4.13. It's the 10-finger prayer. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I decree and declare that this year as a church, we're going to improve with our nutrition. We're going to improve with our hydration. We're going to improve with our relaxation. We're going to improve with our education and with our exertion. Will you encourage some people around you? Tell them, you're going to get there. 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 Don't give up. Don't give up. The race is not given to the swift or the strong, but to those who what? Can endure. And we know weeping may endure for a night. And we know he may not come when you want him. But ooh, if you wait on he will be on. Clap your hands for the word on the day. Tell somebody I liked it that one, Pastor. I liked it that one. I liked it that one. I liked it that one. I like with that one. Will you give people around you, if you so feel led, will you give them permission to ask you questions about your health this year? Just say, how you doing? Just how you doing? With How you doing? Just how you doing? I ain't got to know your business. I ain't got to know when your doctor's appointment is and all that. I just... Just how you doing with taking care of you? Just how you doing with taking care of you? Come on, that, 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 that ain't real, you know, real no. How you doing with taking care of you? Because the trick of the devil is to cause you to take care of everybody else and not take care of you. Amen, amen, amen. Watch this. I believe that not only must you get rest, but you must require people close to you to get rest. Because if people close to you don't get rest, guess who ain't going to get no rest? You ain't. Because they're going to worry the bottom side of heaven out of you. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. See how I said that? You like that? The bottom side of heaven? Bottom side, you like that? You like that? You just would have said, hey, oh, you. you just would have said. <laughs> Anybody here never accepted Christ as your Savior and desire to do so today? Anybody don't have a church home feel like God is calling you to be a part of the Berean Christian Church, the Berean Christian Church, the Berean Christian Church today, today, never accepted Christ as your personal Savior, or you want to make Berean your church home, we never take for granted everybody has a good relationship with the Lord, with the Lord. 
or has a church home. If you want to do one or two, lift your hands, lift your hands. I'll send somebody to you. I'll send somebody to you, send somebody to you, send somebody to you. Call the number on the screen. If you're watching online, want to make a decision. It's ours to what? Extend. And it's yours to accept. Let's prepare to bless God with our tithes and offering, our tithes and offering. Thank you. Last weekend was First Fruit Sunday. First Fruit Sunday. Thank you for $520,000 in our tithes and offering. $520,000. We praise God, praise God for it. Now, just to give you a little context, just to give you a little context, last year's number was 558. Last year's number was 558. But just to give you a little context, give you a little context. Okay, fifth Sunday was 350,000. Fifth Sunday was 350,000. Our normal, our normal fifth Sundays, our normal fifth Sundays run about 180,000. 180,000. So what that teaches us is that on fifth Sunday, many people gave their first fruit money because remember, they got paid on the 29th. So if you back out the 180,000 from the 350, you have a number of what? 160 or something like that? One somewhere in there? 170, somewhere in there? You can literally add the 170 to the 520 and gives you a truer number. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you pat a cuz on the back say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you didn't get a chance to give, you still can. You still can. You still can. All of our locations were up. All of our locations was up. All of our locations. And uh, we simply praise God. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's prepare to bless God with our tithes and our offering on today. Don't forget about all the events and activities that are coming up. Friday night. Friday night is our young adult lock-in. Lock-in. All three campuses, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. will be at the... Kerwin B. Lee Family Life Center and uh, $30 is the cost at 18 to 29. Come and go as you please. Come and go as you please. You don't have to stay the whole 12 hours. It's just going to be a great time for young adults in a safe environment. Safe environment. Then Saturday, I'm going to be meeting with all the singles. All the singles. Saturday at 9 in the morning. Spring cleaning workshop. I'm going to be leading a spring cleaning workshop. Spring cleaning. And those who are single from all ages, Meet me here, meet me here, meet me here, meet me here. The women will be where, first lady? The women will be the women will be in the gym at ten o'clock for for open gym circuit where you get an opportunity to just kind of learn the different equipment in the gym and do some different routines and exercise. Ten o'clock. Feel free to come to whichever one that fits you. Everything that fit everything that fits you. One thing you can't do at this church is you can't make everything. You can't make everything. You can't make the men's breakfast, uh, Brother Bob, is what? April 20th. That's, a, that's, that's two Saturdays from now, two Saturdays, and it's free. It's free, and it's here at the church, 9 or 10. What time is it? 9 o'clock. There it is on the screen. There it is. Scan the QR code when you see a QR, QR code so you can get whatever needs to be done. Miss Sarah, the seniors are going where? Are they going somewhere at the end of the month? train ride up to Blue Ridge, Georgia for all of us. If you've never been up there, that's some of the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sights that you ever want to see. Do y'all have that flyer, Mary? Y'all have that graphic? Y'all put that up there? Okay. You can register online. can register online. Register online. Space is limited. $60. $60. And uh, it's a good... How many of you been there before? How many of you been there before? Okay. How many of you want to go? Want to go to this one? Okay. All right. All right. It's going to be a good time. going to be a good time. Uh, on Thursday, they always get on me. They get on me uh, about this. Well, let me go ahead and share this, which I'm just kind of not that type of guy to just kind of share stuff like that. But on Thursday, on Thursday, uh, I will be inducted into the Morehouse Board of Preachers. Amen. <laughs> on Thursday, uh, it's big ceremony that they have that they select preachers every year. And uh, many preachers pay to get in it, pay to get in it, pay to get in it. And some people recommended me, and they called me, they called me, they called me. So uh, it's Thursday morning. Sheila, it's got some, 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 a luncheon that they have that, that, that you can stream it or something like that. We'll get that information, and we'll put it, put it out to you that if you want to watch it. But that's this Thursday, that's this Thursday, that's this Thursday. So we praise God. Anytime in ministry you can get some uh, positive press. It's a good thing. 
Because sometimes you get what? Negative press. Negative press. Negative press. Negative press. All right. Anything else you need to make mention of? Anything else need to? Did you anything else? Yes. Uh -huh. Since the, the trip is full already to Blue Ridge. Okay. okay. All right. Let me look into it. See if we can get another bus. Right. Deidre, let's look into that and see. I don't mind working toward that. See if we can get another bus. The Blue Ridge trip on that. Oh, we don't have the space. Oh, they don't have the space at the train. I got it, I got it. So we just got to set up a whole new trip. Amen. Set up a whole new trip. Whole new trip. All right. Pastor Tommy will just take his truck and just ride you. <laughs> Charge you 85. Amen. <laughs> All right. All right. Stand where you are. Stand where you are. Tell somebody I speak good health for you. I speak good health. Good health. Good health. Good health. Good health. Good health. God, thank you for your word today. Thank you for the engagement. Thank you for what we've learned. Now we pray you help us to do better. You said in your word, the person that knows what to do and refuses to do it has entered into sin. So help us not to be guilty of knowing better but not doing better. So show us where we can improve in every area. Now bless our giving in person. Bless our giving uh, that takes place virtually. Thank you for the generosity of those who love, who attend, who join, and who support Berean. Give us traveling grace. We pray for sick and afflicted, those dealing with bereavement. And we thank you for things being as well as they are in our homes. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you. Have a good afternoon. We'll see you.